Hello everyone, it's Deligracy here. Oh god, my headphones not half off. There we go, I feel better now. Hello everyone, it's Deligracy here and welcome to a brand new video. I am back from having two days off, so I am excited to be chatting to you guys again and I have a little bit of surprise for you. This is a video looking at a new stuff pack that's just being teased today. The Sims official Twitter page released a 10 second teaser trailer about an official trailer coming out tomorrow for a new stuff pack and I was like whoa I was not expecting this I was not expecting another pack no one was expecting another pack so it's pretty exciting but at the same time I do have a few concerns about it which is surprising because I like never have concerns about upcoming packs I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my point of view and why in a little while of course I would love you guys to sound off in the comments down below what you think about it in a constructive way you know we got to remember this is just a 10 second teaser so there's a lot of information to come which hopefully tomorrow will be cleared up and I'll for sure do a reaction to that trailer as well but I was just kind of really excited to talk about this it's kind of like word vomit like I'm like oh my god I need to talk about it it's sims <laughs> so let's take a look All right, so that's it. It's a 10 second clip. Uh, there's obviously not a whole lot for us to look at, but there's a little bit for us to talk about. So I'm excited to chat. So first up, obviously it says official trailer coming March 6th. Subscribe now to the Sims official YouTube channel to watch it. So that's tomorrow, which will be today for a lot of you guys watching. So I'll make sure to do a reaction to that. And then we have this adorable dancing mouse, which a lot of viewers assume is from creator sim and it's actually a sim wearing like an animal onesie or maybe a kid wearing an animal onesie i actually thought it was a real mouse to start with i was like this is amazing but then i guess that line here kind of looks like it's a mask yeah and it's a stuff pack so i don't feel like we're gonna get like a whole new pet and create a sim that would be quite odd i think so this is a stuff pack keep that in mind it's gonna be little then we get this care for a new pet so we are going to get a new pet pet not pets so it sounds like one pet okay then it says dress your cats and dogs so we're obviously going to get some nice create a sim or create a pet rather assets for cats and dogs and then it says decorate with pet prints now i mm, i'm a little bit like mm, about decorate with pet prints because pet themed stuff doesn't seem that versatile to me i don't really want paw prints all over my sims houses but of course we don't know what we're gonna get it might be really really nice and tasteful and versatile we'll just see what we get but i did think oh. <laughs> i hope it's not paw prints everywhere uh, and then we have the mouse dancing again. Now there is something I would do want to point out here. So in the finer print, it says requires the Sims 4 game sold separately and all game updates to play. Obviously you need the Sims 4 base game to play and expansion stuff packs or game packs. That's fine. But then it says requires the Sims 4 cats and dogs expansion pack sold separately to access all stuff pack content. So this was a little surprising because in the Sims 4, we've never actually had a pack rely on another pack. Uh, to play. So this is actually the first time they're doing that. I know a lot of you guys are going to be annoyed at that. I know they're going to get negative feedback about that because a lot of players don't think that's fair. I personally don't mind it. I think if there is a successful expansion pack that does really, really well that a lot of players have, such as cats and dogs, it could be a good idea to make a stuff pack to offer those players more for their pets. Um, because it's a whole new part of The Sims and I think that makes sense. So I wouldn't be annoyed at that. My concern about this is more so that my instant reaction to this, a lot of people on Twitter, their reaction to this was, so you're going to give us more pet stuff when you could have put it in the expansion pack. So it either looks like the expansion pack was rushed and they're just like, here you go, you can have this in a stuff pack or they deliberately have kind of spread it out a bit so they can make more profit on a stuff pack on top of the expansion pack. That definitely doesn't sit well with me. I think if an expansion pack is being done, it needs to be well done. Um, you know, you pay good money for it. We're very passionate about The Sims and we have previous games to compare The Sims 4 to. So you have expectations. The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, after playing it for quite some time, I did realize there were a lot of gaps in it that weren't filled. I did feel like comparing it to The Sims 2 and Sims 3, we were missing stuff. I mean, 
Sims 3 had horses. We didn't get horses, which is okay. I understand that that affected game performance for a lot of players. So maybe it was too much for one expansion, but we had like two pet beds. We didn't have any small pets. There were no turtles, there were no hamsters, uh, things that were in previous packs. So it did feel a little empty. The animals that were in the pack were not controllable. They were not playable, which they were in The Sims 3. I didn't mind that. That wasn't a big deal to me, but it was to a lot of you guys and a lot of players. It is very easy to view this little teaser trailer as filler content or something that could have been included in the pack. So that is my concern. I mean, before you guys get busy typing down below in the comments, we do need to remember this is just a teaser. We don't know what's going to be in it. I have no doubt whatever it is, it's going to be really cute, adorable. It's going to be made really, really well. And I'm sure Graham, who leads the stuff packs and his team, would have worked really hard on it. Um, but I do wonder if out of their control, if the higher up, business side of EA have decided to do this to make extra profit or if they did not give a good enough timeline for the people who worked on Cats and Dogs to make it the best pack possible. So I don't think we should go shouting out at Sim Gurus on Twitter. I don't think you should be attacking anyone who works on the game. I think this is largely out of their control when it comes to budget. I don't know. And furthermore, always be constructive with your criticism. Otherwise, it's just like, it just ruins everyone's day. So be constructive. Um, let me know if you agree with me. Let me know if you disagree with me. As I said, I don't mind if um, there are stuff packs that you need an expansion pack to have. A few of them, not lots of them, just a few of them. I think heaps of you guys are gonna disagree with me on that and that's fine. Anyway, you guys, that is my thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm, I could be completely different with my thoughts after seeing the trailer. It could look very different. For this trailer, it does make me a little bit worried <laughs> about what we're getting. Hopefully it will be fabulous. We'll wait and see. Anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will speak to you soon.